Today is the day that none of us 90s babies were looking for growing up. And that just so happens to be December 31st, 2019. Why, you may ask? Because none of us is a teenager anymore. What's up YouTube, PJ back with another video for y'all and as you can tell by the title of today's video we're just going to be going over some things that I received during this holiday season. The holiday season for me was, I believe it was a great one. I didn't have too much time to do any more recording for y'all because I was working non-stop and I'll get to that later on in the video. But first things first, I just want to tell y'all, Merry Christmas if I haven't told y'all already and Happy New Year. Tomorrow is New Year's, y'all be safe out there. Uh, drink responsibly and try not to get into any trouble but I'm looking around my room right now it actually needs to be cleaned up because of the holiday season it was kind of hectic but I'm looking at these gifts and I just wanted to go over some of them with y'all I'm not gonna spend too much time talking y'all's heads off so uh, what do I want to start off with first things first is gonna be a gift from Kiera thank you Kiera I appreciate this gift Oh, by the way, I've already opened everything, so I'm not going to be actually opening things on here. So, I'm just going to show y'all what I got. But, boom, look at this watch. Look at it. She bought me another fossil watch. It's black on black, and I do like this thing a lot. I actually have not been wearing it just because it's too big for my wrist. I need to go get some links taken out. But, dang. Dang. It looks like it's a stainless steel design. I'm not a watch guru, but like I said, it is black on black. And I do like the little design they have going around the rim of it, if y'all can see that. But if you can't, then I'll just have a close-up shot of it. But I will be wearing this a lot, and y'all will be seeing this in some of the videos. Well, obviously not the ones that I'm installing things that, you know, I'm going to get real dirty on and stuff, but I'm going to wear this out sometime. And if y'all don't like Fossil, then shame on you, because I think it's a very nice brand. And then their watches just look so good, as I just showed you. But on to the next thing, and since we're on the things Kiara got me, I might as well go ahead and get... Alright, so I've already opened this like I told you and it's a floor lamp because every time she comes over here She always says PJ you need to go ahead and get a lamp. You need to get a lamp, get a lamp, get a lamp And I just, I don't know, I just would always have the big light on so I would never feel the need to have a lamp So she went ahead and bought one. I guess you can say this is kind of a gift for herself whenever she comes over here But I mean I am pretty glad that I got it. It's sitting up right over there. So uh, yeah, she got me a floor lamp all right, so moving right along, uh, we're gonna go with this one. Yeah, I don't know what made you go and get me a creeper, but I'm kind of glad you did. Like, she would always ask me, is there an easier way to get under and from out under the car? And I would always say, yeah, you could always get a creeper, but I don't need to spend my money on that because I'm doing just fine crawling from under it. Yeah, this thing is a Z Creeper seat from Pro Lift. I have not opened this yet. I don't plan on opening it until probably my next install video, which should be coming up shortly. So stay tuned for that. If you aren't subscribed to the channel, you might want to go ahead and subscribe because like I said, I do my installs myself. But this thing says it transforms with no tools into a seat. 36 inch steel frame construction, padded seats and headrest, 300 pound rating capacity. So for all you big fellas out there who are not over 300 pounds, this will be just fine for you. And six two inch oil resistant smooth rolling casters for easy operation. So this should help me out a lot with uh, some of the back problems, well back pains that I get right after installing something. But Thank you, Kiara, once again. I'm glad that you bought this for me. This next thing, though, I've been wanting one of these and procrastinating on this for so long now, and I'm so glad that she caught on to it and actually got me this for Christmas because I was actually about to buy me one of these like within the next week or so, but now I don't have to. And that is this bad boy. Didn't open this once again. It comes with a two-year warranty. I don't know where she got it from. I don't even know if I'm gonna have to need the warranty, but I have it just in case. And it's a pressure washer to wash my car. It's 2000 PSI max, so it won't do anything to your paint. Um, I don't think if you get like this close, it'll do anything, but I'm just not gonna be using it that close. And what I like most about it is it comes with a foam cannon. 
and I've been wanting the foam cannon for so long. It comes with a foam cannon, quick connect spray tips, and a brass quick connect lance. And I believe that's like for regular pressure washing, even though I don't think it's gonna have the pressure of some of the higher pressure, pressure washers, but I'm gonna be using this a lot. I'm pretty stoked to use it now. I actually need to wash my car, but I'm not gonna be using it today. I might pull it out tomorrow though. And if y'all were wondering, it is an electric pressure washer, a 13 amp. So you can use it plugged into the wall into your portable batteries and all of that type of stuff. And you don't need to fill it up with any gas. But now that I'm thinking about it, I think that's all that Kier got me. If I'm forgetting something, sorry Kier, but those are some nice gifts. And what is next? Oh, I forgot about this. Sorry, I told y'all I wasn't gonna talk your ears off, but it's story time. It's the little things. And this is from my sister from Tyra. She came in from LA and she felt like she needed to write me something. Uh, a gift card did come along with this because there is a part where she's gonna say some, use some money or whatever. So it was a $50 gift card in here. And let me get to reading this. <coughs> Cue the soft music. Brother, did you know I used to look up to you when we were little? You made good grades and I was a C student. You inspired me to do better because I saw that it was possible. This year, I'm gonna do something a little different. I have been working on my mental health this year and one goal my therapist gave me was to start talking about my feelings more so that it feels normal. First of all, I didn't even know you was in therapy, but we gonna keep going. You know we didn't really grow up saying I love you to each other and hugs were punishment, but I love you. You are a legit rider. <laughs> Let me read it like this. You are legit R-O-D, Rod, hashtag ride or die. <laughs> I wouldn't trade you for the world. You inspire me to continue with YouTube and I feel like we have some kind of twin telepathy going on, maybe. You're always my go-to when playing team games, and you are seriously the best brother I could ask for. And then the card just says, dot, dot, dot. That are the big things. Thanks. I don't actually understand that, but okay. But she has a little PS at the bottom. PS, I will never let you starve. That's because I always tell her that I'm hungry, and I actually don't like fixing my own food. So I tell her, if you don't fix it, then I'm a starve. It's kind of like an insider. But uh, thank you for that. And PSS, I want you to use this gift card to invest in yourself. I know it's only $50, but I will always believe in you. This is a start. Aww. Yeah, this card was a pretty nice card. And uh, I am gonna keep this around just so I can remind myself that there are people that believe in me. And uh, I may not tell y'all a lot, but Sometimes, well, a lot of times I do feel like discouraged whenever it comes to making content for you guys and just being a content creator in general because the algorithms don't really play for the smaller channels, if you know what I mean. If y'all have a YouTube channel you know, or a smaller channel, you probably will get what I'm saying. But uh, a lot of times it's just it just seems like I'm doing it for nothing or like for not as much as I should be doing it for. And uh yeah, a lot of times I'm not even looking for it for the money side of things, the monetization, but it's like my content doesn't get to enough people, if you know what I mean. Like the reach isn't there. And that is kind of discouraging at times. So I'm going to keep this card around and I thank you for everybody that's supporting me. And Tyra, I thank you for this gift card. I mean, not the gift card. I thank you for this card that you wrote, but thank you for the gift card also. But you know what I mean. All right. What we got next? We got, boom. We got this thing that my dad bought me. It's a brushless impact. Uh, I think it is actually. It's a, yeah, a, br a brushless compact or a subcompact impact gun. I don't actually know the difference between brushless and has brushes, but if you do know and can tell me like what are the differences, then let me know in the comment section below. But thanks because I always, could use another drill or another impact. So thank you for that. It doesn't come with a battery. Like I said, I didn't open it once again, but I have a couple batteries that I can use with it. And I actually want to see how this thing goes. It's a 18 volt, a 3 8 drive, and it says it delivers 130 foot pounds of max torque. 
Hopefully that's enough to take off a tire. Hopefully. Well, at least one of the tires that I do because I don't actually have a torque wrench, so I just torque it down real tight. I know that's bad, but that's what I do. Oh, gift from mom. Ma, I can't tell you the last time I wore Echo Unlimited. And I don't think I'm gonna wear both of these at the same time. She bought me an Echo jacket and a pair of Echo sweatpants. And if you know Echo, Echo always has a lot going on. Like this is so big across the top. <laughs> Look how big this is. It's like big. And if I wore the pants, they have the same thing pretty much. It's big along the leg. And uh, I don't think I like how big that is. But I will be wearing them, just not at the same time. And this is the hoodie that it came with. It is a zip up hoodie, it's not a pullover. And I mostly like pullovers, but I can do with the zipper. And then here are the bottoms to it. Like I said, it has the word echo going all the way down the pants leg. And on this side, there's the echo rhino. Echo on the back pocket. And yeah, they feel kind of comfortable though. Like they feel like they would be really comfortable actually. And What's crazy is when we pulled names at my grandmother's house, uh, my little cousin Dylan, he actually has a white pair of these, like the white version. And I was like, it does look good, but I don't know if, uh, if I would wear them at the same time. And then boom, my mom comes and she gets, well, she has the black pair for me. So thank you for that. And I don't even remember if I said it already, but she also gave me a gift card. I was just talking about how we pulled names at my grandmother's house and Kane actually pulled my name and I, I like Kane's gift a lot, actually. It's a backpack or a book bag or whatever y'all call these things. I just, I call it a book sack. But uh, it's from Tuned in Tokyo. And I like this bride stitching on here. It feels kind of like a seat belt material. And this jet tag, I kind of want to start making jet tags for my brand. But that's for another video. And these, the zippers, they have these leather leather zipper tags on them and it says JDM and they feel like nice quality the zippers feel like nice quality and the back are actually harness straps that say legends on it and I like this part a lot it's so different and unique like using harness straps as the straps for a backpack and then the bottom has this leather striping on it I like that and it just feels overall like good quality I can't wait to actually start using this thing and then like actually making it not look as new because I think that looks a little, just a little bit better. Not torn up and whatnot, but whenever it's actually showing use of it. But thanks a lot, Kane. You act like you know me and I appreciate the gift a lot. Thank you. All right. Now, don't get on me when I tell y'all this, but I ordered something for my father for Christmas. I'm not going to tell everything I ordered for everybody, but I ordered something for my father for Christmas. And it wasn't from the most reputable website. Let me tell you this. All right. So I got him a patio heater, right? Spent like $100 or so on a patio heater. And they did not send me a confirmation number. So I went on ahead and emailed them. And before I could get a chance to even think about it, they sent me a tracking number from PayPal. So I was like, okay, well, the confirmation number is not coming or whatever, but it'll be all right as long as my package is on its way. Let me show y'all what they got me. First of all, how is a patio heater supposed to fit in this package? Seems fishy, right? Well, the whole thing is fishy. Look at this. Look at this. Merry, Cri Merry Christmas, Poochie. Merry, Cri Merry Christmas. They got me some Thomas the Train stickers. <laughs> Look at these stickers. <laughs> Look at these stickers, bro. They sent me some Thomas the Train stickers. Luckily, I ordered with PayPal and they're on it. They're possibly going to give me my money back because, dang, bro. Like, how you just jipped me off? And what's worst about it is when I went back to their website, their website is actually shut down. Like, you can buy the domain if you want it. And, yeah, that's a... Uh, that was, that was funny actually. When I received this, I was just, I couldn't do anything but laugh. I couldn't even be like real mad because I was like, dang, they got me. But I ordered through PayPal, so it'll be all right in the end. 
All right, so I think that just about no, that doesn't wrap it up. I forgot I bought myself something for Christmas and something for my channel, something for y'all, something that everybody can enjoy. One second, let me get it. Look at this. They so beautiful. They beautiful, huh? That's all y'all get to see though. That's all y'all get to see. But yeah, I did buy myself some headers and I will be trying to install them tomorrow maybe on January 1st, 2020. My first month, first day, first month, first everything I do in 2020 and I will be trying to record that for y'all. I might do a POV style vlog for it. Let me know if y'all would like that in the comment section and stay tuned for it. But hopefully I talked to y'all enough about this. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, any inquiries, anything that y'all have, y'all can feel free to contact me on my Instagram, on the bottom of this channel in the comments, or any other social media that I have, and uh, I'll greatly appreciate it and get back with you guys on it. But this just about wraps up the video. So uh, yeah, I don't have anything else I think I need to talk to. Once again, happy holidays and happy new years to y'all. Always remember to do more, be more, believe more, and achieve more. And I thank y'all for watching.